Alrighty guys, so today we got some interesting news when it comes to Rogue Squadron and a potential Star Wars Old Republic film being made. Let's talk about it. Alright, now let's talk about the Rogue Squadron situation, which just happened. Actually, it was just announced just a few hours ago by the time I'm recording this. It was reported by Hollywood Reporter that Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Patty Jenkins' upcoming Rogue Squadron Star Wars movie is being delayed and being put back on the shelf for the time being. And this is just because of Patty Jenkins' schedule with her upcoming Wonder Woman 3, a rumored Amazon's HBO Max series, which is a spinoff from Wonder Woman, as well as a I believe it is a Calypso or something. I can't remember exactly what her other film was supposed to be, but it was supposed to be a ancient Egyptian queen. I'll probably toss it up on the screen for you guys to have an idea of who I'm talking about because I can't remember the name. But this is really interesting information because here, here's what I'm getting at here. This is now the second time a project has been put on hold for the time being. Actually, it's not even the first time. It is probably the fifth time that Disney or Lucasfilm has put on a Star Wars project on hold just because of either disagreements with the directors and the writers or just the director is just too busy or somebody along the line is just too busy to work on the project. So the project gets shelved, it gets put away until somebody can come in and work on the project. Now, this is, this sounds a lot like WB right now. If, if you guys know with the whole DC EU fiasco with WB with projects being put on hold because of the writer or the director being too busy or disagreements. This is a this sounds a lot like WB right now when it comes to DC. But instead it's Lucasfilm and Star Wars. In fact, it's actually I don't even think it's really much of Lucasfilm's fault. I think it's more of Disney's fault because if you really look at it, Disney tells Kathleen Kennedy, and a lot of people might be blaming Kathleen Kennedy. I don't blame her for this. I, this is not her fault. This is clearly Disney, because for one, she want, Disney wants Kathleen Kennedy to not get one, not two, but four, but, but five films made within the span of 10 years. Now, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So far, we got an Five, pro five films have been announced, one for being a Ryan Johnson trilogy, one being a Taika Waititi film, and Patty Jenkins confirmed Star Wars Rogue Squadron film, which might not even happen. But according to Hollywood Reporter, they haven't even started filming. They said that they weren't even ready to start filming next year in 2022, which is absolutely bonkers on why this is even happening like i'm actually getting annoyed by what lucasfilm and disney have been doing when it comes to star wars and and it's more of disney's fault than lucasfilm but something needs to change like if you're getting directors that seem too busy to deal with which at the time patty jenkins wasn't busy at all until dc fandom until dc fandom when she confirmed that wonder woman 3 was being written that's when everything shifted I think I think that's when everything shifted is when DC and WB were like, hey, we know you're working on this Star Wars Rogue Squadron film for Lucasfilm, but we need you to work on Wonder Woman 3. OK, we got DC fandom. People are expecting something for Wonder Woman this year. We need something related to Wonder Woman. So confirm that Wonder Woman 3 is happening and that you guys are working on the script. But here's the thing. Wonder Woman 3 probably won't even come out until 2024, potentially 2025. Rogue Squadron was set to come out in 2023. So you see the problem here? This, this is a huge problem when it comes to this. It makes no sense. Why would Disney, why would Lucasfilm hire a director that is quote-unquote too busy to work on a Star Wars film? And yes, this happens all the time, but this is starting to get a little in this is starting to become a little too much. And this is why I'm making the WBDC comparison. Because DC and WB have been like this for the past 10 years, almost 10 years now. In 2023, it will be officially 10 years since they've been pulling this crap when it, came, when it comes to DC films. Lucasfilm doesn't need this, okay? At this point, Star Wars fans, we're, we're biting the bullet. At, oh no, we're, we're getting the pay, like, we're getting 
Mm. Like, like we're getting upset about this at this point. Like something, I don't know what needs to change. Something needs to change over at Lucasfilm, but this is getting kind of annoying. Because honestly, I think Rogue Squadron will be a good movie. I think it will be a really interesting movie. It will probably be the Top Gun of Star Wars potentially if it ends up happening so i'm going to talk about this other rumor that i've heard now that we're done with the rogue squadron stuff this also connects to rogue squadron because of what i've heard and it's very recent very recent so keep all this with a grain of salt because this is a new rumor and this is why i had the old republic label on an old republic logo with a check mark on it i'm hearing that rogue squadron will be replaced by an Old Republic Star Wars movie. Now, for one, I think that's a terrible idea. As much as I would love to see a Rogue Squadron film, I think that this is an absolute terrible idea to do this to Batty Jenkins. She's been she's wanted to do something pilot film related, like Rogue Squadron. She loves Star Wars. This film was pretty much a dedication to her father, but I... I as much as I would love to see an Old Republic film, and it could happen. There was a bunch of talk, talk talk about Old Republic last year, especially with the Old Republic remake. But I think that it's too soon to do Old Republic. I would say, if anything, if anything, Ryan Johnson's trilogy will be Old Republic. That is what I, I, I'm not saying it's true or not, but it could be possible and if a old republic film or even a trilogy is in the works that is a huge shift for star wars and i think it would be a great shift to see and this is coming from multiple people on twitter from what i've seen and and i'm not on twitter but i've talked to people who have twitter and i've seen other videos where people have talked about it and it seems like this could be possible that a republic star wars old republic star wars film will end up happening at some point in time it probably won't be rogue squadron being replaced with rogue squadron which i don't think that's gonna they're gonna do that i think that's a terrible decision on lucasfilm's behalf and and if that's the case it's a terrible decision on disney's behalf because they're the one who allowed this pretty much to happen so here's what i'm here's what i'm thinking right so here's my conclusion to all this i want to let i want to hear what you guys think i think that a old republic film or even a trilogy is in the works that's what i believe it is possible we need something new for star wars and over and the old republic is the best shot we have rogue squadron i believe will happen it will probably be delayed until 2024 and taika waititi's star wars film will come out in 2025 and that's what immediately lead us to ryan johnson's trilogy for 2026 so that is what I'm thinking at this point in time. So let me know, guys, what do you think about all of this? Do you think that Rogue Squadron will be canceled, um, potentially canceled, put on the shelf for until Patty Chicken comes back? Um, do you think an Old Republic film or even a trilogy is possible and in the works? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. And with that being said, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.